Hello, Gary Simon at designcourse.com and today is January 7th. We've got our first week out of the way with seven videos and we're going to take a look at designing a squeeze page today. So a squeeze page is basically a specific type of landing page for a website. So a goal of a squeeze page is to basically solicit a single action from the user. So this could be uh, putting in an email address, uh, this could be clicking a button to download something or access something. So you'll see uh, what we're going to be doing is basically taking the paperclip lettermark logo that we created from yesterday and creating a fictitious squeeze page from that example for that company. So we're going to use Adobe Photoshop CC and you will need access to the project files to do this and so of course they are available for free in the link below and also check out designcourse.com. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, let's go to file open and we'll open up grid.psd from the project files which you can download uh, in the link below the video. And let's just zoom up here. I, I'm at 66.7%. That's what fits my current window. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, go ahead and turn on grid. And this basically is a 12 column grid. And grids are important to use when you're designing a mock up for anything that's going to be later implemented into HTML and CSS. And while you know we're not going to be getting into HTML, CSS uh, for this video, it's still important to um, understand you know what these are and what they're all about. And, and basically, when it comes time to do the HTML and CSS, when you're designing your elements and you're coding out the HTML for those elements, you want to basically abide by these grids in terms of your spacing. So if it's a little bit confusing, you've never messed around with it before, you'll kind of see how it works. Uh, here very shortly. So basically uh, what I want to do is I'm going to hide this real quick. I'm going to open up the logo. Alright, and this is this is the logo we created, the letter mark uh, from the previous lesson from yesterday. So you can use whatever logo you want, but it'd probably be worth it just to stick with this. So just copy that uh, for select all and then control C and then paste it in here with control V. And basically when it comes to a squeeze page, you don't want a navigation. You know, you really want to keep everything as, as minimal and simplistic as possible. You don't want any uh, be, any areas in which the visitor could potentially leave or any other links. So we're not going to worry about a navigation. We're just going to have the logo, and we're actually going to have the logo inverted to white, and we're going to use a darker background color. So. I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to rename this to logo. And I'm just going to select beneath that layer. And I'm just going to drag out. And if it does this to you, just hold the Alt key. All right, I'm going to drag out to, we'll say right around here. All right, I'm going to close that. And I'm going to double click over here to bring up a foreground color. I'm going to choose a blue, something that's pretty dark. Maybe it's around here. And then just hit OK. So now I'm going to select our logo layer. I'm going to double click on it on the right hand side to bring up, bring up the layer styles. And we're going to select color overlay and then just choose white. Hit OK and OK. And I want this to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to hit Control T, Shift, and Alt. Because remember, we're not even working out in 100% view. This is 100%. It's kind of hard to envision everything. All right, so if we bring up our grid and we put this to the top, I, oops, I'm going to lock that. Oh, no, it's telling me my, uh, <laughs> my mouse is uh, low battery power. Oh, well, let's hope it doesn't go out. All right, so I uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. We just want to center this in the middle. Oops. Basically, right around here. I. Uh, and then also, 
I want to open up the other project file called buildings. Now, the reason I got this, uh, it's just a, a random photograph. It kind of has a lot going on. Uh, and you'll see what we're going to do with this. So we're going to take rectangle one and we're going to hit control shift N for a new layer. We're going to call this uh, blurry BG. And then gonna, we're going to right click and we're going to create clipping mask. You could have done that, by the way, with a checkbox on that, that dialog box that came up. Now we're going to hit control V to paste in and then hit control T. And with shift and alt selected, we're going to scale up real large. doesn't really matter how large, just so it kind of just fills up the whole area. And then I want to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And I think around 27.8 works well. And then I want to go ahead and play with the layer blend modes. So I'm going to just use the down arrow key just to play around with these. I think I like that. I mean, it's real minimal. You can't really see exactly what it is at all, but it just gives you some texture. And it's just kind of a a nice image, uh, or a nice feel rather. Um, so now what I want to do is take the type tool, and this is where our heading is going to go. So let's bring up our grid, and I'm just going to select between here, left click and drag out, right there to the end of the 12th. And then I'm going to choose uh, Center Justify. And then I'm going to type in, try the hottest file manager free for one year. All right. And then I'm going to significantly increase the size. I'm going to try 30. No, oh, a lot more than that. I'm going to hide the grid real quick. We'll try 60. No, that's too big. We'll try like 50. All right, that looks good. Change it to white. All right, so you know this is our headline. This is one of the most important parts of the uh, the squeeze page. We have to give them, you know, the, the users the incentive to want to eventually enter their email address, which will go right here. All right, so I uh, I think that looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and take the rounded rectangle tool, and we will bring up our grid once again. Now I basically want, to, yeah, I want to have two columns on each side. So in between will be our text box. So on the third column we have, I'm going to hold Alt there, and okay, there we go. So we want to span basically six columns, and then. I'm going to duplicate this. So this layer that we just created, I'll call this text. Right click and duplicate layer. I tried the shortcut, but it's currently tied to my screencasting application. Uh, so now we have that. We want the end of it to go right here. And then we're going to take the direct selection tool. And it right now, it, it got both of those. Basically, we just want to take all of those points right there at the end. Hold Control and then deselect that one that it selected. All right, and then we want to put it right here. So it's only going, the button's only going to span about two columns. All right, so let's hide the grid. Okay, now the, uh, we'll call this button. And we'll give it a color here. Maybe something like between a, a yellow and a green. And, Basically, a fluorescent green, and it, it sticks out real well. And I'll just type in, let's do this. I always try to avoid using typical, you know, submit, you know, or whatever, or blah, 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 this type of. You actually want to use unique button text. And I think that might be a little bit too bright for that green, so I'm going to go back. Maybe something like that, a little bit better. All right, and then over here, we're going to have like a placeholder text. Let's put enter your email. All right, and then just take the move tool, apply, and then we'll change that color here to like a gray. And then just adjust it with your arrow keys. All right, uh, so far, so good. 
Now, there's one little thing I wanted to do. Uh, well, first, let me take the rectangle one, hit Control T. I'm just going to push this up to right around there. All right. Uh, we're going to go back to the logo PST and just copy the actual paper clip. And then we're going to Control V to paste that in. This time, I'm going to zoom up to 100%. I, I'm going to drag this up top. All right. And so I want to go to image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And we basically want to get a, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Kind of like a gray color. So now what I want to do is go over to yeah, uh, the layer styles. And first before I do that, I'm going to control T and I'm just going to rotate this around actually like that there we go and we're gonna put it right there and I'm just gonna end it right there or cut that off rather all right so now I'm going to go to double click to get our layer styles up and I actually want to make this thing look like a kind of like a 3d ish type realistic uh, paper clip so this is where you have to play around a little bit with bevel and a boss. Um, yeah. yeah, we want to increase the depth quite a bit. All right, and you could do a few other things. Inner shadow, depending on the angle it's going from. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I may just opt just to get rid of that entirely. I was playing around with this a little bit before, and uh, I did get a little bit more elaborate, but I think that's fine for now. Then once you're done, you hit OK, right click. We'll go ahead to Rasterize Layer Style, and then we'll delete, select that bottom portion right there, and go to Image Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Right around there, whatever you think looks best. Yeah, okay. Now this is an element that I may or may not keep. I'm not sure. I uh, put it like right around in the middle. And this still needs to come up just a little bit. And I'd say like right around here. All right, so. I uh, I'm going to conclude this video for today right here because I think this is a good stopping point and then tomorrow we're going to continue on with this uh squeeze page design and we're going to design a couple things down here uh to really just fill it out uh, a couple testimonials and also like three different feature sets that would be associated with this service all right, so look for that video, uh, and as always, uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet already, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, goodbye.